diagnosis of malnutrition in the six month infant capable of infant weight and length assess the infant's dietary intake check signs of malnutrition thin limbs sunken eyes dry skin bloated stomach sunken fontanel take history ipd or cellia cellular tribe inappropriately looking according to the their growth chart weight or length height double h WFH under 3, height, length for age, HFV under 2, ask for parents, parents about feeding history, how often is child feeding, what are they eating, do they vomit a lot, do they have trouble feeding, have a take breaks, breaks, how often do they pass dual, extra doesn't receive enough calories, chip chip formula amount isn't measured correctly, caregiver doesn't notice a uh, hunger clue, cues, calories are received, how calories are, uh, doesn't receive enough calories due to formula isn't measured correctly. Care people didn't notice hunger. Cute calories are restricted to avoid waking, or there's a lack of uh, funds to buy enough food for the family. Can't take in enough calories due to prematurity. CHD can retain enough calories due to diarrhea, colitis, chronic liver disease, gluten allergy, or CF. Needs a special medical diet due to inborn error of metabolism, PKU. Tyrosinemia, MSCD, strulinemia, etc. Diagnosis and malnutrition in a six month old infant involves a comprehensive evaluation that includes clinical assessment, growth monitoring, dietary history, and potentially laboratory tests. Here is a structured approach tailored for medical and dental professionals. Mm. Clinical assessment history type dietary intake assess breastfeeding frequency and duration, formula feeding detail and the introduction of solid food including type and amount. Recent illnesses inter infection, especially gastrointestinal, can impact the nutritional status and feeding. Mm. Developmentalized don't delayed milestone can be both cause and effect of malnutrition, physical examination, anthropometrics, uh measurement of weight, length and head circumference, part Palladied on the age and sex specific growth chart. WHO growth standards to assess growth for occurring or failure to drive. Weight for age, length for age, weight for length, indicators to identify underweight, stunting and wasting respectively. And clinical test signs look for signs of micronutrient deficiency, power for anemia, root cause signs for vitamin D deficiency, and muscle wasting, subcutaneous for loss, and other specific signs like edema in severe acute malnutrition, dietary history, breastfeeding, and formula, feeding, frequency, duration, and any issues with feeding, and latching problems, formula concentration, complementary feeding, type. Type of solid introduced, frequency and any feeding difficulties, growth monitoring, growth chart, the use of WHO growth standards. To plot weight for age, the length for age, and weight for length crossing two percentile lines downwards or falling below the third percentile and significant. Mid upper arm circumference MUAC particularly used within field settings for screening. Laboratory tests, while not routinely required for diagnosing malnutrition, they may be helpful in assessing the severity and complication. Complete blood count CPC to check for anemia or infection. Electrolyte, especially in severe cases, to assess for electrolyte embolysis. Liver function tests can indicate protein malnutrition, albumin, and prealbumin indicators of protein status, though they can be affected by other conditions, micronutrient levels like iron, vitamin D, or zinc based on clinical suspicion management. Implications, nutritional rehabilitation, tailored feeding plan, including breastfeeding, support appropriate formula feeding, and nutrient dense complementary foods monitoring and follow up. Regular follow up to monitoring our growth and development, adjusting dietary plans as needed. Multidisciplinary approach involving pediatrician, nutritionals, and potential speech and or occupational therapies for feeding issues, high opens for exam preparation, know the key anthropometric measures and their interpretation for age, weight for age, length for age, weight for length. Remember the WHO breast child as a standard tool for monitoring growth in children under 5 years. Five year, PLL or clinical sign that may, may indicate specific nutrient deficiency, and early identification and intervention for malnutrition in infants are crucial to prevent the long-term de developmental delays and ensure optimal growth and health. So let's sum up. Diagnosis of malnutrition in a six-month-old 
In fan evaluate or uh, inventory the length of sister events. Dietary intake check signs of menstruation, thin limbs, sunken eyes, dry skin, bloated stomach, sunken fontanel. Take the history, intrauterine bowel disease or cellular failure to thrive inappropriate, making according to their growth child weight or length. Height and uh, height and length for age HFV under two. Okay, yes, good. Parents about feeding history. Uh, how often the the child feeding what are they eating today vomit a lot do they have a uh, trouble feeding have to take weeks and how often do they pass all extra doesn't receive enough calories due to home environment we don't measure correctly but can take food enough in color due to prematurity can obtain enough calories due to diarrhea colitis chronic liver disease gluten allergy or cf need a special diet medical diet to inform errors of metabolism tkot uh, Tyrosinemia, MESUD, Citroen anemia, diagnosis of nutrition, okay, history, dietary intake, recent illnesses, development of milestones, and visual examination, anthropometric, uh, weight for age, length for age, and weight for length, clinical signs, micronutrition, deficiency, polar for anemia, Erica signs for the vitamin D deficiency, dietary history, breastfeeding, and formula feeding for situation, and any issue with feeding, latching problems, formula consideration, complementary feeding. Growth monitoring, growth charts, mid upper arm circumference, liver thread test, uh, complement to conflict, blood count, and electrolyte, liver function test, albumin and pre albumin, micronutrient levels, management, uh, and implication, nutrition, rehabilitation, monitoring and follow a multidisciplinary approach, and know the key anthropometric measures, and remember WHO growth charts, and be aware of clinical signs and indicate specific nutrition deficiencies.